Hi, I'm Nelly from San Francisco. Please like and subscribe. My mom worked as a caretaker at a rich old man's home, and dad was a street vendor who sold chocolates. My sister, Jenna, who was two years older, took care of me while our parents were at work. Once when I was seven, mom took me and Jenna to the mansion where she worked, and it was massive. The old man who lived there couldn't move around much and had no family, so mom did everything for him. Feeling curious, I sneaked into his room to see him. Just then, I saw him struggling to reach for the glass of water, and I ran forward to help. He smiled and asked, Oh, such a lovely girl. What's your name? Nelly, and what's yours, sir? <laughs> you can call this old man anything you like, little Nelly. I started enjoying his company, and he loved mine. But Jenna never cared to meet him. She would just come to watch TV at the mansion every day. Once in the fifth grade, I was asleep when Jenna poked me awake at night and said she had something to show me. To my shock, it was a really expensive looking watch. Oh my god, where'd you get this from? I found it in the drawer at the mansion, isn't it cool? No, it's not cool, dummy. It's stealing. But no one's ever going to wear this. Think of the stuff we could buy if we sell it, Nelly. No way! You have to put it back, or I'll tell mom and dad and the old man. She made an annoyed face, but the next day she took it with her to return it. When we got to the mansion though, we received some shocking news. The old man was gone. I was heartbroken to hear it. Soon after, the old man's lawyer showed up, and mom sent me and Jenna away while they talked in the study. The minute the lawyer left, we heard screams, and we found mom and dad dancing. We're billionaires. The old man left all his money to us. This is the happiest day of our lives. We're rich? Nellie, can you believe it? It's all ours now. This watch? Mine. And before I knew it, we'd moved into his mansion. And my family went on a shopping spree. They were spending money like crazy. Nellie, buy some fancy clothes, please. We're joining the new school with all the rich kids. We need to look like them. No thanks. Designer dresses aren't my thing. We were enrolled in the best private school in town. Since both Jenna and I loved dancing since we were kids, I went to sign up for the school's dance club right away and found her there too. We auditioned and I was excited when we were both selected, but Jenna was acting like she didn't even know me. The next day, I was sitting by myself in the cafeteria when a girl walked over and said, Hey, get lost, kid. This is Amy's table. But there are so many other empty tables. And who's Amy? I'm Amy. And Amy always sits on this one. She so suddenly picked up my plate of spaghetti and rubbed it all over my shirt. There, your t-shirt is designer now. Original art by Amy. I was about to smack her when suddenly I saw Jenna marching over to my table with a glass of juice. But when she came close, she threw it straight at my face. Didn't you hear Amy the first time? Move it. As the two high-fived, I ran off to wash the juice out of my eyes. What was wrong with Jenna? As I washed my face and looked up, I saw Jenna standing behind me. Do you want to explain what just happened there, super jerk? Yeah, I'm here to explain it, so listen closely. You want to be a loser? Fine. But I want to start over with my life, and I'm going to be popular. So you better not tell anyone that we're sisters, okay? And with that, she just walked off. Which? She and Amy kept bothering me in school, but I tried ignoring them and focusing on getting better at dancing. And within a few years, I was officially a part of the school's dance team. The studio was my happy place, but I couldn't say the same about home. Jenna and mom were too busy partying and attending fancy events, while dad was always out driving his luxury cars and I was often all alone. At least we spent some time together before we got all this money. But to my surprise, I found out that mom was throwing a huge party on my 15th birthday. When I stepped out into the pool area that evening, I was really surprised because I couldn't spot anyone from my class. They were all Jenna's friends. And standing next to the cake, all ready to cut it, was freaking Amy. What are you doing, weirdo? It's my birthday. Um your birthday? Oh my god, I completely forgot. Well, looks like you and Amy have the same birthday. 
Jenna asked me to throw a big party for her gorgeous friend. Maybe you can both cut the cake together? No thanks, Mom. I'm good. Yeah, Amy's not sharing space with this poorly dressed loser. The photos have to go up on my Instagram. Yeah, sure. I'm the loser. But so are you. It's pretty lame that someone else's mother had to throw you a birthday party. Where's your own mom? Amy leapt forward to attack me, but I pushed her off and she landed straight in the cake. She pounced at me again and as we wrestled, we both ended up falling into the pool. Amy started to scream and cry because her look was ruined and mom and Jenna started screaming at me. Ugh, they were all unbelievable. I just stormed off, cleaned up and snuck out to go to school, to the dance studio. I turned on the music, but suddenly I saw a strange figure behind me in the mirror and I screamed. Who, who are you? Why are you sneaking up on me, creep? Hey, relax. I'm Daniel. My parents donated this dance studio to the school. I come here every evening to practice. Every evening to practice. You're the one interrupting. I couldn't think of a reply, so I just walked out, but he followed me. I didn't mean to offend you, and you don't have to go. Maybe you could dance with me? I looked straight into his dreamy blue eyes, and I couldn't refuse. Yeah, why not? We danced and then talked for hours. I found out he was my senior in school and already part of an established dance group. We grew close and always met at the studio. It was our spot. And soon, I had a pretty big crush on him. Once Jenna saw me talking to Daniel on the playground, and as soon as he left, she ran to me. Hello, my little sister. Little sister, aren't you afraid someone will hear you? <laughs> oh, you're funny. Uh, BT Dubs, how do you know Daniel? He's so cute, and I've had a crush on him since the first day. Are you guys friends? Please introduce me to him. Wait, what? Jenna liked Daniel? My heart just sank hearing that. I liked him too, but I couldn't hurt my sister. The same evening, I met Daniel and decided to talk to him. Daniel, I need to tell you something. My sister, Jenna, I think she likes you. She's super cute and you both will be great together. I can introduce her to you sometime. Jenna. Oh, yeah, I've met her, but she isn't really my type. And besides, there's someone else. And with that, he took my hand and my heart was racing. It's you. I like you, Nellie. And suddenly he leaned in for a kiss just as our lips touched the door burst open and Jenna barged in with Amy right behind her oh my god good thing I told you to follow her Jenna Amy's always right about people Jenna stared at me with pure rage Wow my own sister stabbing me in the back you act like you're so innocent but you're such a snake Jenna, this isn't what it looks like. I didn't mean to. What, did you just fall on his lips? I'll tell you what it looks like. I told you I liked someone, and the next thing I know, you're in his arms? Just to get back at me, huh? Jenna, I kissed her, and I'm sorry, but I like her. Oh, shut up. Do you even think I care about you? I care about my sister betraying me. Jenna, please. I tried talking to her so many times after that but she didn't listen to a word, and I felt terrible. Even at home, she would act as if I was invisible. And soon after, I found out that as the dance team captain, she'd kicked me out of the team and replaced me with Amy. What? We were participating in a national level competition soon. When I told everything to Daniel, he came up with an idea. Why don't we enter the competition as a separate act? You don't need to be part of the school team to do that. I agreed, and on the day of the competition, day of the competition, Jenna had no idea we were participating. When our names were announced, Jenna's jaw just dropped open. We danced really well, and the whole audience got on their feet to applaud us. Jenna's act was right after ours, and it started off smoothly. But right in the middle, Amy forgot all her steps. As she fumbled around on the stage, she went crashing straight into Jenna and the two landed on their butts. The entire crowd burst out laughing as Jenna screamed at Amy. You've ruined everything, clumsy idiot. Just get off of me. Amy and the whole team just stormed off the stage. At the end of the competition, I was shocked when Daniel and I won. As we were handed out trophies, Jenna climbed onto the stage and attacked me. 
This belongs to me, you witch. You just keep stealing things that belong to me. I didn't take anything that was yours. If this trophy makes you happy, have it. Here, I dedicate this to Jenna, the loser who can't accept defeat. And I just left the stage. She was crazy. A few days later, our school was hosting a charity event, and all the parents were a part of it. Mom donated a huge amount of money, and later she was called onto the stage and given an award. Just then, I saw Amy climb onto the stage too, and she snatched the mic from the host. Thanks to Jenna's mom for donating such a huge amount to the poor. You came from the same background, so you understand them completely, of course. Jenna told me how you guys were so poor. You were cleaning toilets at a rich man's house. And now look at you. Wow. Mom's jaw dropped, and so did Jenna's. Everyone started whispering. Really? She used to be a maid? But she tells everyone she was born a billionaire. Mom ran through the crowd until she found Jenna and pulled her aside. That little brat, Amy, what did you tell her? I'm, I'm sorry, Mom. I didn't know she was going to publicly announce that. My reputation is ruined because you couldn't keep your mouth shut. What will they think of me now? That I was poor? Yes. What's wrong with that? I didn't know we had to be ashamed of our past. And if money is all your friends care about, you should get new friends. It's not a secret that Jenna had to hide. Jenna just stood there silently, and I turned to her. Jenna, I know you hate me, but I swear, I met Daniel way before I knew you liked him. I would never hurt you intentionally. You're my sister, and I miss the old you who used to take care of me and dance with me. Jenna suddenly started to cry and hugged me. Nellie, I'm sorry for being such a jerk. I just wanted nice things and to be treated nicely. And all the money, it just got to my head. I started behaving badly just to fit in with the rich kids. And I knew Daniel didn't like me, but I still acted like a fool. I've missed you too. I was so, I was so glad to have my sister back. But mom suddenly leapt towards me. You're such a stupid girl. But dad stopped her. How dare you? Have you forgotten all this money is Nellie's? Wait, what? Dad then told me the old man had left everything to me. And once I turned 16, I was the only one who could decide how it would be used. Seriously? You've just been misusing my money all these years? And I bet you were never going to tell me, Mom. I'll make sure you don't spend a penny on another stupid thing again.